again guys. So my previous Good Omens video received way more attention than I was anticipating. I said that I'd make a part 2 and here it is. In this video I'll cover most of the points discussed in part 1 so you don't really need to go back and watch the previous video but you can if you'd like. Let's start with the demons. In Good Omens, Hester and Liga both have reptilian companions on their heads. These companions share similarities with the eyes of the demons themselves. It's mentioned in the book so I'm pretty sure that it's intentional. Now Crowley, as we know, has a snake tattoo on the side of his head. I thought this could be a substitute for having an actual snake on top of their head. But what's more interesting is the recurring theme of reptilian or animal-like eyes among demons. Now let's shift our focus to the angels. They all have gold on their bodies in the form of rings, fake teeth, markings, and more. The question that arises from this is whether this gold symbolism relates to the angel hierarchy in Good Omens. For some reason they place archangels above everything in the show's lore, so here's a suggested hierarchy of the angels according to the show's canon. A lot of the archangels have markings around their eyes and their faces. This could be associated with the fact that higher ranking biblically accurate angels would be very hard to make eye contact with, to say the least. Archangels definitely have more gold on them, all except the former Supreme Archangel Gabriel and... Uh, Metatron! <laughs> yeah, Metatron. That, that guy. Um, yeah. Now let's discuss Gabriel's eyes. It is widely accepted that his eyes are purple because he was the Supreme Archangel. This choice of eye colour is intriguing. If you look at the angel's colour scheme, it's all about gold, light, and neutral tones, especially white, which is associated with minimalism, cleanliness, and elegance. These are very core traits of heaven, and is the expectation of which angels are held up to. But Gabriel's eyes are purple. Purple is associated with power, ambition, and luxury. This makes it a fitting choice for a supreme archangel from an aesthetic point of view. I wonder if in season 3 we will see Aziraphale adopt this eye colour, as he is the new leader of the archangels. The idea of angels and demons revealing their true non-humanoid forms is pretty central in Good Omens. Throughout the show, there are tons of hints that support this concept. One of the most obvious examples is Crowley's transformation into a snake. In both the book and show, these transformation scenes show how occult and ethereal beings can manifest their authentic forms when they want or need to. I hope this video, along with part 1, builds on the ideas that we had before and is more comprehensible. I really enjoyed reading your comments and have tried to incorporate and discuss some of the ideas here. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a like. The previous one did much better than I expected, and I've tried to improve on what the last one was lacking. Once again, feel free to discuss ideas and theories in the comments. And if you have any video recommendations or character slash plot analysis you'd like me to talk about, please drop them down below. I am always looking for new content ideas and I really appreciate your support. But that's all for now. See you guys later. Bye!